Hi, Chuckle Laurie here with another shave. It's uh, Sunday and we're continuing on with um, Puck September with a soap from Razor Rock. Oh, I'll put up the right lay way. Gold label. It's a um, Italian cologne scent, citrus cologne. It's a lovely citrus cologne. It's a, just above medium strength on coming off the puck. As you can see, as you can see quite hard. Today I'm using the method of slicing a piece off and squashing it in the bottom of my leathering bowl. I'm using the Yaki Duke leathering bowl today. Brush we're going to use is my uh, rock pool made by Shave by Dave. This, uh, the idea is that when you look down into it, that it looks like you're looking into a rock pool. And you do get that effect if you look into, into a light. You probably can't see that in the camera. How's everybody going? Having a lovely weekend, I, sh I hope so far. Well, we'll, uh, we'll swap over to the uh, hang on before we swap to the other camera. I'll um, put my pre shade on. I like to do that before I uh, do my leathering so it has a chance to work on my beard. So I'm using the Verde Activated Charcoal Glycerin Soap. It's just a bar soap, organic bar soap like it. Comes from Queensland, it's an Australian soap. So I'll just massage it in. It's a dual purpose, it sort of it cleans the skin because I shower after my shave. It cleans the skin as well as repair the beard. So leave that do its job while I do the Sorry about that. Um, right, so we got the bowl ready there. As you can see, this I'm starting dry, like you would uh, off a puck. So this is an alternative method for doing some of the hard soaps. So we just start with shaking our drop brush. Just slowly. Make a bit of a cream. The razor rock is pretty efficient. I've got quite a big sample in there. It's unlikely to get used up. It'll be a couple of shaves worth of sample. As you can see, I've already got a nice cream going there. Enough off that soap now to start adding water. Just a small amount. Bit more. See it's quickly building up into a nice sheen already. 
I found this soap is very quick to build up a leather. And we just got to get it to the right consistency. That's quite good. Let's keep adding water. Start to look good. I might need just one more spoon. Yeah, that's looking really good. There we go. Lovely sheen on that leather. All right, we'll show you that. It didn't take long at all. Only took about um, three, three minutes, three and a half minutes. All right, we're back from the leathering camera. You might be able to see better on this camera. There's a lovely sheen. Oh, just a light a bit on that leather it's very nice very happy with that one so we'll start putting that on I'll uh, just a bit more water on my face Feels really nice on the skin. This is uh, this razor rock so it's very economical. In Australia, I think it's only sixteen dollars. For a puck of 100 gram puck and 100 grams will easily last you 80 shaves I would think you that lovely rich lather on there very happy with that leather. The water's leaking out. Right, the razor we're going with today is a Chinese made one from DS Cosmetics. It's called the T7. It's basically a, uh, a clone of Razor Rock Mamba Head. The point. 0.7 gap on it. 0.7 millimeter gap. And it's got a winner blade in there. Gillette winner. Very smooth. Blade feels sharp. This is a mild razor.
and you get a very little amount of um, blade fill. Very nice first pass there. Uh, the handle on it comes from Yaki, that's a Yaki lobster handle they call it. Um, it's a 90 mil handle on it, lovely knurling. It's made of brass with a chrome um, coating. Very nice, lovely slickness on that soap. I didn't test the residual there, but we'll test that a bit later. Itch. Get it to my nose. A bit of soap. Love the scent, it's a good medium scent. Not for, not for leather. Not too strong, but it's definitely let you know it's there. It's, it's wafting off up to my nose. Right across the grain. The gold label, I think, is a uh, equivalent to their old orange. What the puck? Um, I believe uh, Razor Rock relabeled their soaps, as you can see. I don't know whether people are familiar with uh, what the puck soaps, but they've got the same picture right in the centre there. Uh, I don't think you can actually buy what the puck soaps anymore. They replaced them with these coloured label. Gold label, blue label, green label, and black label. There's four colours that I know of. It's uh, very easy to use this razor it's, uh, for me. So it's very mild. It obviously has no positive, doesn't have positive exposure, sorry. It'll be um, probably neutral. Could even be a bit negative, I think. Definitely not positive. That may depend on the blade a bit. Oh. One more. I'll test the residual on the last pass. slickness 
shoulders. So. Instagram. We can hear the blade cutting there. I might hear it on this side closer to the slickness. This is a definite two tier two soap. So once you get in a tier two and you get value like this, it's excellent soap. So if you don't mind a hard soap. You could either do what I did today, which slice a piece off from the bottom of my Gathering bowl. This really has no end tabs to worry about. So I have no issues going around the nose and worrying about knocking some skin off. The same with the ears. So I can go straight past the ears like that and not, not worry about it. Nice residual. I wouldn't say the best residual in the world, but it's definitely a good residual. And a good feel on the skin once I wet it. Very happy with that, so. Especially at the price level. Let's do some touch ups just around the normal areas. very stable you can see it's still stable not breaking up at all Stragglers. Oh, a little weeper. I 
Oh, well, it can't be perfect every shave. Just trying to get those little hairs. Just sit around your mouth. It's a nice residual hair. Just going off residual now. Beautiful. I need one that one minor weeper. You can hardly count that one. Oh, it's lovely. It's a good reason. Based on that, I, I probably would get a mamba, a genuine mamba razor, which are made of stainless steel. This is uh, not stainless steel. This is a Zamac version, so it only cost me about ten dollars the head, and I already had the handle, which all cost handles like that cost about fifteen dollars. Here in Australia. Okay, I'll just pat that down. We'll do a quick run over. Yeah, just in that area there, I can feel a little bit, just a few zings. Which means I've got a pretty close shave. I'm very happy with that. Right, we won't waste the uh, the leather. I'll put that on my face and uh, go and have a shower. See you after my shower. Hi there, back from my shower. Very nice shave. That whip is already healed up, so it's a very minor one. I don't see any others. Didn't even activate re over the old ones. So that was pretty good. Uh, all right, we'll go and put my pre-shave on. Not pre-shave, post-shave. No, he knocked my camera down. So I'm going with the Lucky Tiger lotion again. After shave lotion. It's the first karma. Skin karma that is, not Camerism. Doing a bad thing and then a bad thing follow you. Oh, that's nice. It's got a pleasant scent in that, um, sort of a bit of a floral, light floral scent. And then we go with the Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. As you can see, it's uh, going down in my jar. Oh, 
that's just a small jar. I have a big jar of the vanishing cream. It comes in a big tub of about 400 gram tub, I think. 350, 400, something like that. Which is too big to leave on my bench. So I reposition it into this 100 gram jar. Oh, it's not much. So that's a bit of eucalyptus and menthol. Ooh, nice. All right, we'll just go with the products I use now. All right, we start off. We start off with I got the. I've got the head taken apart of that razor of the DS Cosmetic Cosmetic Oh god my tongue's all twisted up Cosmetics DS Cosmetics and it looks like that you take it apart as you can see it's got that classic rock wall seating on the bottom plate rather than the top plate and underneath the top plate, you can see the finish is very good. Don't forget, this is only a Zen mat, and the fitting is also very good. So, for 10 bucks, that's <laughs> probably a steal, really. And the handle is a Yaki Lobster 90mm brass handle with uh, chrome coating. I used the winner blade. Super Platinum. Super? No, Special Platinum. Gillette Winner. On its second shave. The brush we used, as you can see, it's a nice cashmere knot. Now I've got it all clean and dried. I dry it on the towel. Lovely. That's from Shave by Dave. A local or Australian artisan, and what else we use? So the pre-shave we used the Verde soap, activated charcoal glycerin soap, and the soap is the Razor Rock Razor Rock Gold Label, which is the classic Italian cologne, citrus cologne. As you can see, there was plenty of sample left in my bowl. The bowl I use comes from Yaki, the Yaki Duke. Nice big bowl. So that was, I started with about two grams of soap there, so there's enough for at least another shave, a shave and a half maybe. So it's very efficient. You could even get a hundred shaves out of a hundred grams. All right, what else do we use? Uh, that's about it. So we're going to finish off with some more Lucky Tiger. Lucky Tiger Aspen. Uh, no, so you're going to get much sting from this. It's only a 40% alcohol in it. Content. Ah, nice. Lovely cologne. Santa. Uh, what do you call aqu aquatic? In the reminiscent of um, cool water. Alright, so that's my shave of the day. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.